Okay. What's up, everybody? This is uh, Watch Witcher One X Five. Um, my reaction to it. Yeah. The um, and with luck, I plan with luck the whole rest of the season too. I plan to, I plan to binge watch the whole season, the last four episodes now. Maybe we'll see what happens. Uh, I think uh, before I start, I think I have a better handle on what the law of surprise is because I feel like that's a it. It was clearly a very important plot point in The Witcher because it was said so much in the episode. It was really important to the rest of the story. So uh, I think I was able to. Uh, I think I was able to uh, better understand it now, thanks to the help of someone from the comment section, uh, Cristiano. San Severino, thank you very much. Uh, my hat is off to you. I'm hoping to clear up the confusion on that. I think I understand. I understand it a lot better now. It's like a, it's like a, um, the law of surprise. You save a king's life, and now the king owes you something. But it, it's it's it's. Uh, I was a little unclear on what is considered a surprise, right? Uh, like for instance, Pavetta threw up and I thought you know isn't that a surprise technically would the witcher now own that spew but he wouldn't because that's not something that Dooney would possess you wouldn't own the puke but you would own the baby that that created the it kind of created the puke right so I'm saying it's a surprise he does not know he owns yet but it has to be something he would possess and then that that thing whatever it is that first thing Gets to go to, uh, gets to go to um, the Witcher, and it just so happened that it was a baby. Oh shit! And he so he knew it when he left the kingdom. He knows, he already knows that he is. I mean, what is he? What does he get to do? To, does he get to do whatever he wants with the girl? I mean, he could. Uh, it's his by right, so he could marry it like Dooney's marrying Pavetta. Or he could raise it, raise it as his own, or give it away. Right? It's his to do whatever he wants. That's pretty crazy, though. I mean, you just can't give your child away. Does that mean it doesn't matter if it's a boy or girl, though? Right? It's not a Game of Thrones thing. It's just whatever, it, whatever it is. Right? You, you own the child regardless. It just happens to be a girl who has a lot of powers. Okay, that's about it. I also realized that that means we haven't actually seen the Witcher since there were three timelines. I heard that in the comment section too. I I, I understood that. I saw that. I realized that when uh, when um, when what's her name? When Yennefer said uh, she'd been doing this for two decades, I realized oh, there's three timelines. I understand that. But that means that we haven't seen the Witcher yet in the current timeline, right? Everything we've seen of him is in the, is in the middle of timeline. <laughs> He's like we've only seen him during Calenthea's time period. We haven't actually seen him. So we haven't actually seen him where Siri is now in the present day. That's interesting. What has happened to him? Where where is he? Uh, I feel like we're gonna find him in a very different place than where he is now. I think that by the but by the time Siri meets him. We have found out that he's something has happened to him by then. This middle story is coming to a close, and it's gonna, it's gonna, and then we're gonna go straight into the current day timeline, and, and he's probably gonna be in a bad place. That's that's why I would think. The only reason that's be why that why they're saying it up that way. But okay, this is The Witcher episode five. Let's get cozy. I got my my uh, trusty notebook, ready to take some notes, paying attention. Let's do it. <laughs> Most important thing, paying attention. And let's go. Oh yeah, and, and Musak took something from the queen on her dead body. What did he take? A surprise visitor, all the more. I've had eyes on you for a while. I know who you are. What you are. A cell of Dimeritium made just for you. This isn't who you are. The white flame made me who I am. The white flame? Gave me a higher purpose. This Him. one. 
Do we have to? It's him, right? It is. So it has, it's his, no, this is after. This can't be before, right? Isn't it lovely? The life we've chosen? Not being bound by the rules of the Brotherhood? Living off the grid with no resources. I'd given up altogether. Love, that's nice, but not in the cards for me. I mean, I'm flattered and everything, but you should really think about getting a hobby one of these days. What are you fishing for, exactly? Can't sleep. I'm looking for a gin. For a, gi for a gin? It'll grant me wishes. It's in this lake somewhere, and I can't fucking sleep! <clears throat> Has got something to do with what the druid Mausak said to you in Sintra. How's my singing? It's like ordering a pie and finding it has no filling. Let my feelings go. Oh, it's, yeah. it's down, downright indecorous of you, if oh, I'm completely my... honest. Uh, wh 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 wow, 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 what is, she wasn't what is kidding. that? You horses! Ah! <laughs> Girl. Oh. There a doctor here. Yes, yes. Sheridan the elf healer. Oh dear. That's what? not what you want us. I assure you, you I have received injuries of a magical nature. There's one mage. I You're the first task. It's been too long. I haven't seen you for years. Down south, Fringilla's thrived in the post that should have been yours. Full air returned to Nilfgaard and she's helped him restore peace. Why are you here? The so-called mages you're enlisting will not help you with your problem. You want a cure and it's making you sloppy. Flaunted in direct conflict with their agenda will not be tolerated. She was looking at the it baby last time. It's time to like move on. With some longing. Return to Aretusa. But money opens all doors. Oh boy. <laughs> so it does. Whoa. Oh. What the hell is it? <laughs> You're the mayor of Rend. Oh my exactly god. what I was expecting. No, it's not. The apple juice. She wants some. And she always gets what she wants. I don't understand. Does he want me to get out of the apple juice? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Here we go. Oh, there she is. I, uh, brought you apple juice. <laughs> and quite a bit more. You're immune. Uh, you must be the mage. Yennefer of Engerberg. We need your help. Geralt of Rivia. I thought you'd have fangs or horns or something. I had them filed down. Ragamuffin! What? Oh my gosh. How long will he sleep for? Long enough for you to bathe. Are all witches similarly blessed? <laughs> but Eratusa fixed you up nicely. What was your ailment before? Clubbed foot? I've determined your company and conversation payment enough. What's the matter? It's a cool one. The black. I need some trimmings though. Do you doubt my capabilities? No. Just your intentions. I think she's opportunity. She's using it. She wants the gin too. You want the gin. Yeah. But the M4 is broken. The gin's already long gone. Lilac and Gooseberries. And I do love a good old fashioned trap. Sorry. I come last. I hope your rampage was well worth it. <laughs> Attacked a pawnbroker in his shop, kicking him in the delicate places. <sighs> you also dragged the apothecary. She had you enact revenge on her behalf. It is sure to be death. I suppose that's one way of getting some rest. <laughs> You're under a spell, aren't you? I wish I was, but no. You're in love with her. And I think perhaps you may understand me. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember me? Oh valley of penis, oh god. She wants to keep all you have. <laughs> Make a damn wish. What is repulsive? Deviant. 
and cannot smell. A witcher without a nose. I want you to burst, you son of a whore. Don't tell me. The, don't tell me she got the wrong guy. And the, you're the one with the wishes. <laughs> oh, Geralt! Thank the gods. I might live to see <laughs> another day. We need to go. Yes, Gear. You're okay. She wants to be the vessel. Well, you know this woman. Of course. No, no, do not tell me that this is finally the moment you've decided to actually care about someone other than yourself. She saved your life, yes, Gear. I can't let her die. Someone show, someone show, no show them, someone show them kindness. And yet, show her kindness. Here I am. Uh, it's getting stronger. Uh, so take over. That's because I'm the one with the wishes. You see what this is doing to you? True transformation is painful. Release the chain. I'll give you my last wish! Permitting my success so long as you command it yourself! Fuck off! So what's going on in that house? My house? And I have no idea. I like how we never really quite see it. That's really cool. <clears throat> are you sure they were up there? I know who you are. What did you do? You had shit all. I saved your life. Well, I saved yours. You let the djinn escape. Who knows what havoc it'll wreak now that it has no vessel at all. No more havoc than you. And if you were going to portal us to safety, you could have taken us out of this shit town. Oh, she portaled Fine critique man. if you could make. I had a plan. <laughs> And that was going swimmingly. It was. Like a drowning fish. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> We're sitting out. And they're money here right now. It's like a peeping window. Oh, they're alive. They're really alive. What did you wish for? Tell me, Geralt. Stop, please! No, no. I've come for the girl! You try. No, Seth! Your Highness. What are you doing, Seth? Why did you go on that street? What matters is I found my way back to you. I know where to find him. She's been promised to him through the low of surprise. You've been so kind to me. But Mousek is all I have left of home. I need answers. And I need you. You're my family too now, remember? Always ask the right questions. Your destiny is in your own hands and no one else's. Bye. I guess she's not coming up on him. Oh good, oh good. Maybe he can help him. Oh, he's on the back. Last rose of Sintra Whoa. has blood upon her torn. Okay, so... Uh, for the top of my head, that was a sexy episode. <laughs> Real sexy episode. And, uh... Yennefer and... Geralt finally meet. I don't know how to feel about all that. I don't know, to, I don't know what to say about all of that. Uh, sex scenes and shows made me feel uncomfortable anyway. And, uh... I don't know, you know, I mean, seeing it together and all that, I, it's just, uh, you, you know, it, it just, I would, I would want to see me as somebody else, you know, somebody you've never seen before, but, you know, if you jump on her just like everybody else does, then you're just, you know, aren't you the same as everybody else, right? Like, she's a hot body before anything else, you know what I mean? I, I know, it'd be really cool, I know, that's not the show. I thought the movies or the games or whatever, but I, I, if I had a choice, I would have said no, because that would have been like a whoa. He's either gay, or he is something else. You know what I mean? I would want to show her that I'm not in there just for sex, but whatever. 
<laughs> whatever, you know, whatever. Uh, okay, well, I, what I did like, though, that's just sex, just, sex stuff just always makes me uncomfortable. But, uh, okay, so, what, what I do know is uh, I, I, I did like how, I think, uh, you know, I mean, Yennefer has been used and spat out by the world for so long that she got in her head that everything is like that. It's all terrible, evil. Everybody's using you, trying to betray you. So she expected everything to be like that. and She's just been buying her time, trying to get more power. You know, I want everything, whatever that means exactly. But The Witcher changes up the, the game. Shows her an ounce of kindness. Even though she used him, he came back of his own free will to help her out. You know? It's like she's she, she not she not used to having allies without using spells on them. So here comes the Witcher, and he shows her an ounce of kindness and whatnot. And and, and then she's uh she uh she doesn't know how to take it. <laughs> she takes it really badly, and she I get it. She doesn't want she doesn't want um she doesn't want somebody else to help her out. I guess you could say. She wants to do all this, do all by herself, which is a stupid notion because nobody does everything, does anything entirely by themselves. You know, everybody needs help sometimes, but she's so arrogant and hurt by the world. She doesn't, she doesn't want that anymore. She doesn't even want help if the person offers because then that would mean you help me and I didn't do it myself and I don't want that. And I like how the witcher got to kind of push through all of that and just help her out. You know, she just, she thought she could do everything herself. But you can't. Nobody can. The witch is here to show you there's another way. We're not all assholes. There's some some of us actually trying to help out, you know? And that's cool. I like that. Jennifer Jennifer is gonna see there's another side to the world. I don't know why it took us so long to find it, but maybe it's cause most of that world is pretty bad. Like that. Also, I didn't realize I mean, I guess well this definitely shows you how important the law of surprise is to the world. The world sees the law of surprise. I mean, everybody. Even those dyads or dryads, what do you call them? The, those people from the woods. Even they are, they take it so seriously. That whole thing. Uh, the whole law of surprise thing. It's a big deal to everybody. <sighs> you have doppelgangers in this world. And then it made me, it made me start thinking about how did. Who, if he, if he, were, he, if he had took in that phase recently, that means that that guard was also killed. That's probably how the guy found him. He tracked him through that guard or something. I don't know how he, I don't know how he found a double, a doppelganger. If the guy's always changing faces, but he found him. Good on that, good on that guy. But uh, he now has Musak, and Musak is dead. I think he's dead. So a rest in peace to Musak. Ah oh, man, and now they found Siri, Siri, Sevilla. They found Sevilla, but she is, she's, you know, they found her and she thinks she's in Musak, and um, that's just not going to end very well. I think Dao, I think Dao, 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 I don't think he's going to make it past the next episode. I hope he does. I hope, I hope that they. Get to work together. I feel like he's gonna die, and probably to save Cyrilla from her own people, or Nif uh, save them from Nif Nilfgaard. <laughs> so Fajilla works for Nilfgaard. I forgot who Fajilla was. One of the students at the Aratuza. I know that. I forgot which one Fajilla was, but she is working with Nilfgaard. And I remember, Nilfgaard has an insanely huge army. Okay, but in the f in the episode with Queen Calenthia, where she she pretty much talked down to them the whole time. She shit on their nation. She didn't, which means they don't take them seriously at that time period. We don't know how. I'm not sure how long it's been since that time period when the Witcher met Calenthia. But at that point, they were a laughing stock. And I, I didn't really think about it until now. I just thought that they pissed them off and then they came back and killed them. But it's possible that Nilfgaard. Now, just go with me here. It's possible that Nilfgaard actually wasn't so powerful to begin with. They didn't have as big an army as they do now, which means something has changed. 
I don't know. I don't know. I could be. I don't know. I don't know. It's just they made fun of them so much at that point in time that it would imply that they didn't have a big army. If you knew that, if you knew they had a huge army, you wouldn't want to piss them off, right? They had some respect, but apparently they didn't because she was just tearing into them. I mean, maybe she was making a mistake, or they because everybody was laughing at them. So it's possible that they really didn't have anything at the time. So where are they getting all this stuff from? You know, are they raising people from the dead or something? Um, that's why I'm going. That's why I'm going with it right now. They've done something. Magic, death, uh, Fragila did some shit. They, they've done something. They've unearthed something. And they're, they're, suddenly they have this gigantic army. And then they just destroy Queen Calanthea's whole kingdom. Which, um, yeah. If that's the case, we'll probably find that out at some point. Soon. And that's it. On to the next episode. Let's go.